spoke with a friend recently, um, someone I used to work with many years ago, and he was recently offered um, to join another organization in an entirely new industry, okay? And as it's often the case, he's doubting himself. He's not sure if he can do this. He's not sure if the skills would translate. He doesn't know all the lingo. He's never worked in that particular industry. And, you know, while the offer itself is very exciting, it's completely focused on growth. It's additional visibility and strategic leadership opportunities, the salary, the bonus, perks, all these other things that come along with it um, are well above his current compensation package. But obviously money is not the only driving fo for force or, or focal point for many of us. But he's been in his current organization for over a decade. He almost kind of plateaued uh, considering the current overall executive and leadership team in that organization, their vision, a lack of their willingness to take risks and try something new, to be more contemporary and relevant in the world we live in, and to be mindful as to what is actually taking place around us uh, across the world or what has taken place, especially over the last year and a half. Um, he realizes that he's almost at the point of where it's time to do something else. And he's actually been thinking about this for the last year, year and a half, maybe even two years. So now, calls me, tells me about the possibilities and, and options and so forth and as I'm sitting there quietly listening to him share his perspective and his thoughts, he's leaning towards saying no. And I've asked him why. Let's begin. Let's just begin by imagining, right? Acknowledging and imagining the possibilities. If you say no and you stay where you currently are, is this a long-term solution? Are you happy? Is this sustainable? The answer was no. If you say yes and you try it and it doesn't work out a year or two in, is it an entire different set of experiences that you now have under your belt that you can use and leverage? Would it not be easy for you to go back to your original industry and find another place because you are someone who has built that credibility and that integrity and that acknowledgement across the industry as someone who gets stuff done, right? Has anyone ever made this switch successfully from industry A to industry B? And the answer is yes. We actually even know a few people who have done it. We know them personally. And even if the answer was no, who says that he couldn't be the first one to do it and show others how it's done? And to pave that path for those who will come after him. So doubt... And defeat begins with ourselves. If we don't believe in ourselves and our capabilities. Now, don't confuse confidence with cockiness. They're two different, and arrogance. Those are two different things. But if you don't believe in yourself, why should someone else? If you're not willing to take risks and put some work in, why should someone else? He has amazing leadership capabilities. He knows how to inspire and motivate his team, knows how to advocate for resources, knows how to inspire, knows to align right people with the right strategic objectives and direction that the organization needs to move in. And most importantly, he knows when to get out of the way. He's not a micromanager. So when I shared all of these things with him, he felt better and I can even, you know, sense a smile and a sigh of relief over the phone. And then I said, but when it comes to also technical skills and knowledge and abilities, you have those too. Yeah, there might be different software packages, different licenses, and different terminology between different industries, but it's the same thing. Networks and security and telecom and applications and web and mobile and analytics, it's the same thing. It might be a different vendor or a different partner, but you've done this for years. Where's the doubt? And you'll wake up every morning, at least for the next couple of years, being extremely excited to do something new, to learn, to stretch yourself beyond the comforts of what you've done for the last decade or two. 
It was a wonderful conversation. He still wanted some time to think about it. Obviously talk to his family and, and then him and I will um, connect again towards the end of this week or beginning of next. But I wanted to share this, this moment uh, with those who are going through the same journey right now, experiencing the same thing of doubt over something they've never even tried. Go try it. Give it a shot. See if it works out. Maybe you're right. And it's not going to work out. You're going to move back. We're going to do something else. But maybe you will. What if it does? What if you go for something, you mean you really swing for the fences and you go for something big and it actually works out? Because those who approached him have noticed something in him and his ability and his leadership, which is difficult to find. I know a lot of people who are in leadership roles and positions and not many of them are actually leaders in my view. And this is across multiple industries and multiple organizations over the last 20, almost 25 years. That is difficult to find. They have seen something in him which he has not acknowledged within himself. And that's where the problem lies. So hopefully this is useful and helpful to some of you. Um, Know your worth. And if others are seeing it, work with them. Try something new. Unless you're obviously extremely happy and thrilled where where you are and there's still work to be done because you have not made a difference yet, that's a different story. But if you've been in a place for 10, 15, 20 years and you think you got to the point or you've been at the plateau of, of innovation and creativity and trying something new for years now and nothing is changing, there is no hope on the horizon. Well, then at some point, if you have decades of work ahead of you, Maybe it's time to pivot and bring your services and your contributions to where they're appreciated and where they can actually make a positive impact. So think about that. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you've noticed or watched part of it, please consider subscribing below, sharing it with your friends and colleagues. Most importantly, leave your thoughts on the topic I just covered. Have a great day.